So when you talk about divisions in Maryland and in Baltimore, the story of Lizette Woodworth Reese always surfaces because, uh, first of all, she was very well known after the war uh, in, in later Maryland history. She was a poet and someone of uh, considerable renown in the late 19th, early 20th century. She was a mere girl during the Civil War. And uh, she wrote in uh, a memoir about her family's situation. She then lived in uh, the village of Waverly, now part of Baltimore, of course, but at that point, uh, a kind of a country village outside of Baltimore City proper. And uh, she tells in her memoir about how uh, her family split up. Her, her grandfather was uh, pro-secession. Uh, he and, uh, and Lizette's grandmother had, as I remember, three children uh, a boy who had enlisted in the Union Army uh, shortly after the war broke out, and two daughters, one of whom married an abolitionist who must have felt out of place vis-a-vis uh, -vis the grand, you know, his father-in-law, and another daughter who married uh, a, a rabid secessionist. So at some point it, during the war, uh, the Union authorities uh, in Baltimore, hearing of the secessionist grandfather, <clears throat> elderly man, sent a detachment out to the house to capture this reb uh, or sympathizer. And uh, of course, they're, they're, they're making a big fuss outside the house. And one of the sons-in-law throws open a second story window. It turns out to be the abolitionist brother, uh, son-in-law. Uh, and uh, he might have been uh, he might have been perfectly willing to turn in his secession to his father-in-law, but of course he was his father-in-law. And in any event, uh, there was this sort of family truce, I suspect. So uh, the son-in-law abolitionist throws open the window and says, why boys, you have nothing to worry about. The old gentleman has a son in the Union Army. Have a good evening. And he, you know, at the doors, the shutters close and the troops depart without a prisoner. It's really a great story about uh, divisions within families during the war.